What is going on guys and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Okay, yesterday I did a video on some fun basic statistics of the game that you can find on fwgoh.gg. Now, they were like, what character is used the most in the leadership spot in the 1 through 10 ranks in Arena? What character is used the most overall in the 1 through 10 spots in Arena? Uh, what squad composition is used the most, as in what five characters are used the most in the same team. All of that stuff. Then we looked at Zetas and Omegas and the popularity of those and which Zeta was the most used, etc. Interestingly enough, I got a comment from Pulsar1500 down here. And it says, hey man, you seem to like to touch on topics game changers miss can you break down tune stats for example i had scavenger ray modded for crit damage i looked at her stats and it was high as it could but noticed her crit chance was only in the high 30s i swapped out the damage triangle for crit damage triangle for a crit chance triangle did i do the right thing well i gave this long reply to him you can read it what up on your own i'm not gonna read that right now but i actually am going to answer this question for a lot of people and there's a the method I'm going to show you you can use on any character any question you have this will answer it so first things first I'm gonna go back into the game here and I'm gonna show you one of the characters that I have okay so the guy that left the comment was asking about scavenger ray so I'm gonna look at my scavenger ray we're gonna click on manage and we're gonna look at all the stats here first I run a crit damage mod set I want to get that extra 30% critical damage and then in the triangle, I run a crit damage primary stat. Okay, so I have her at 216 critical damage, the highest you could go. Now, we're also going to look at her physical damage, 2,839. Pretty decent. And then her physical critical chance, 40.67%. Okay, so the question is, is this guy said, hey, if I, if I replace this crit damage primary with a crit chance which is the most you can do is a 12 in the primary and the crit chance will it do more damage overall we are here to answer that question for everybody we're going to look for something called your average damage per hit or adph and i'm going to show you how to calculate that right now okay i found this formula a long long time ago and to be honest, I don't use this formula every time I'm going to mod a character and go like, okay, should I put this mod there? Should I put that mod there? What's going to do the best? But for those of you that are interested in advanced statistics of the game, this is how you can calculate the most damage your character can do during a battle. So as I said, average damage per hit. And here is a, the formula. It's damage, and then that little star is the multiplication. Parentheses, and then another parentheses, crit chance times parentheses crit damage minus one parentheses parentheses plus one parentheses okay that's a lot of parentheses luckily you're going to be watching this along with me so you understand what's going on not just listening so i have an example set here also remember that when you were talking about your percentages like crit chance of 44 percent or crit damage of 216 you got to change that to a decimal decimal when you put it into the formula so 216 would be 2.16 so i just threw it together an example here let's say the character does 3,000 damage has 33 percent crit chance and 216 uh crit damage that's like the mods that they have them on them right now so as you can see here i have set it up the way that you would work it out 3,000, all the brackets all the parentheses etc basically when we get down to it and we do all the math with a 33% crit chance and a 216 crit, crit damage with 3,000 damage as the base, you're going to get 4,140 ADPH. With the calculator, which I'm going to show you in a bit, it comes out to 4,148.4. Okay, so that's how much average damage per hit your character is going to do with those stats. Now let's increase the damage to 3,100. Have a crit chance of 66 but lower the crit damage to 186 this could uh example be happening with what the guy was asking about he's going to take away that a little bit of crit uh crit damage add some crit chance so here's the formula again up here we have you know 3100 parentheses parentheses 0.66 times parentheses 1.86 minus 1 parentheses parentheses plus 1 parentheses okay you know that's obviously not good video content i'm just describing what's going on when you work all that out you're going to get an ADPH or average damage per hit of 4,867. 
with the calculator again, which I'm going to show you in a second, you're going to get 4,859.56. So when you took that crit damage down from 216 to 186, but raised the damage by 100 and the crit chance by another 33%, you got a 711.16 uh, difference in the totals. So you're doing more average damage per hit when you do the 1.86 with the higher crit chance and the 100 higher damage. Okay, okay, I talked about the calculator, and now I'm going to show you we are able to find all this. Now, I, I found that formula a long time ago, and I think in a forum somewhere, but you have to use the resources available to you. And you definitely check out gaming-fans.com, okay? You can even, I'll give you this exact link into the description of the video you can click on it they give the whole description of what i just said uh probably more you know detailed than i did because you know they wrote it all out this is an absolutely fantastic resource with anything you want on this website but what you're mainly here to do is down at the bottom and the psycho poet was the guest writer big kudos to him for writing this out this is awesome they have this it says here is an example and you can click on the here when you click on the here, it brings you to an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, here's the Excel spreadsheet. They created this. I did not create this. They get full credit. Major kudos to them. I can't. I can't say that good. Uh, good enough things about them. So, they have an example right here of what the crit chance is, what the crit damage is, and then the damage outputs. And but okay, but you can't edit this right now yourself. So what you have to do is you have to click File. And then it, sa it says right here, click file, make a copy. So you're going to click file. You're going to click make a copy. Okay. I've already done this. It'll come up another one. I have this one sitting right here. But here's the copy of it. Now you can change your information. So as I said before, let's go 3,000 damage with this one. I want a 0.33 in the crit chance. I want a... 216 or well, I should say 2.16 in the crit damage hit enter and it's going to show you 4148.4 I had 4140 without the calculator by you know just doing it basically so that was one now let's look at the potential mods the mods you're thinking of changing it to and we will change the damage to 3100 like we did we're going to change the crit chance to 66% as we did and the crit damage is going to be a 1.86 there you have it 4859.56 the difference is 711.16 so putting that crit if you want to get that extra crit chance if that's by potentially putting you know getting that to stack and get the bonus from the uh, mod combinations and maybe having some more offense in some of those secondaries you can go wow you know what i want to run this character with these mods instead of this mods even though i think having that 216 uh, crit damage is better you got to think okay well my damage output overall times the critical chance which is most people don't think this advanced which is why i like to have a lot of fun with it at times too i said i don't usually go in and you know do this for every character but there are times like when i was planning on doing the uh the heroic uh, uh aat phase three and soling it with my um imperial grand maneuver grand admiral Thrawn. i wanted to put my commander luke skywalker in the best uh spot possible to do the most damage be the fastest and then same with palpatine and in Thrawn and Tarkin and all that stuff. I wanted to maximize the characters that are potential with the mods that I had. And let me tell you, it I ended up changing quite a few of the mods than I did just putting them on there by eyeballing it. Okay, this is very, very advanced stuff. There are many more statistic, statistics you can look at uh, advanced-wise. And if you would like me to continue doing these videos, I absolutely love doing them. But again, I have to give credit to the people that actually wrote this up and created the, rep, uh, the spread spreadsheet. I found the formula a long time ago. It's in some forums, but these people are the one that really, really showed you how to use it, etc. Gaming-fans.com, link in description. Please do not forget to subscribe and click the notification button because so many people have subscribed 
And they're like, hey, uh, dude, when you put out another video? And I'm like, I, I did. They're like, what? I'm like, yeah, you got to hit the notification bell now to notice when Thunderwack puts a video up. So you better do that so you can learn all this stuff right away. And, you know, you can be in one of your guild chats tonight going, hey, guys, guess what? My scavenger ray does more damage than your scavenger ray. What? No, that's impossible. I'll bet you. And then you show them this. So, guys, have a great day. May the force be with you. And stay tuned for more.